Ever wonder why certain foods seem to hang around after you swallow them? The exact mechanism that causes aftertaste isn't fully understood. In fact, understanding how our brains perceive specific tastes is still a subject of debate. The current leading theory of taste is it's the perceived combination of several different sensory systems that include smell, flavor, and what's been referred to as somatosensation, basically meaning a combination of sensory inputs like temperature and texture. There are five basic flavors our taste buds perceive. They are sweet, salt, sour, bitter, and umami, the flavor that comes from glutamate like monosodium glutamate. The idea that we have a taste map on our tongues where specific areas are responsible for flavors is false. All taste buds have the potential for producing the different flavors. Taste buds are a grouping together of around 50 to 150 flavor cells, known as gustatory cells. Your gustatory cells contain within them hairs that have proteins on them. Those proteins react to the chemicals in our food and drink to bind them to the cell. These cells have neuron-like properties that can cause the release of neurotransmitters. It's neurotransmitters that are perceived by the brain as flavor. About half of the gustatory cells within each taste bud react to several of the five basic flavors. The reactions vary in sensitivity to each of the five types. A specific cell might react strongly to sweet, but poorly to salt. The cell next to it may react strongly to salt and poorly to sweet. Those reactions are classified in levels of intensity from 1 to 10. The other half of flavor cells within a taste bud are specialized and react only to one flavor. This is why some taste buds react overall to salty foods more than sweet, or sweet foods more than salt. Most adults have around two to 4,000 taste buds. While most people think they reside only on your tongue, they're also found in the back of your throat, epiglottis, nasal cavity, and the upper part of your esophagus. One sense your brain uses to help in taste perception is smell. The smell of a food affects its taste because our olfactory senses can perceive thousands many more odors than our taste buds can flavors. Fruity, nutty, garlic, and burnt are a few. The differing senses of odor, when combined with the flavor of food or drink, will affect overall taste. This is why, when your nose is stuffed up, foods tend to taste differently. Aftertaste is thought to be the remaining chemicals from food or drink still affecting the gustatory cells on the tongue, back of throat, epiglottis, and the upper part of your esophagus after the other factors of overall taste, like smell and texture, are no longer affecting the brain. Whether you enjoy or dislike any aftertaste, just know chemistry is taking place on your tongue every time you sense it. With this in mind, whatever the chemical contents oyster stew is, they should never be combined and given to anyone, ever. The aftertaste is one only the most sadistic enjoy.